We have more in-depth coverage this morning. Joining us in studio now is Rhode Island Congressman David Cicilline. Thank you, sir, for being here, and good My morning pleasure. to you. Good morning. Now, since you last stopped by, there have been several shootings across the country. These are now claiming the lives of police officer in Baton Rouge, Dallas. We'd like to hear more about your push for stricter gun control laws. Yeah, I mean, first of all, the, these killings of police officers are horrible and uh, really acts of evil. I mean, the idea of police officers who are keeping our communities safe and I think the nation's heart is broken every time we hear about one of the things and we've got to do something so police officers can do their jobs and feel safely and feel safe. Uh, I've been working with other colleagues to help reduce gun violence in this country. We, we've been pushing hard for universal background checks and to be sure people on the terror watch list can't go into a gun store and buy a gun. Two kind of first steps to help reduce gun violence in this country. We can't pass a law that will eliminate all of it, but we need to do more to keep guns out of the hands of people who shouldn't have them, particularly criminals who would commit an act like these police shootings. And moving on out to the political landscape, last night was the first night of the Republican National Convention, and this morning there's a little bit of controversy surrounding Mrs. Trump's speech. Some people are calling plagiarism for the similarities it has between Michelle Obama's speech. What is your reaction to all of this? Well, my reaction is this is a convention on their first day that's sort of coming apart at the seams. There was a, kind of a revolt during some of the voting. It's uh, clearly not a party that's unified. I think there'll be a lot of focus on Melania Trump's speech, but I think really the message of this first night, which was really not about unifying our country or a vision for America, but more of a, a personal attack on Secretary Clinton, I think is not what the American people want. They want answers, they want solutions, they want to hear what a presidential candidate is going to do to improve their lives, to strengthen social security, rebuild manufacturing, rebuild the infrastructure of our country, make college more affordable, all the things that are kind of important issues in people's lives. We didn't hear any of that last night. Now next week we'll have the Democratic National Convention in Philadelphia. What can we expect there? Well, not surprising, I have a different view. We're going to see, I think, a party really coming together. We're going to see great speakers from our president, our vice president. Uh, Senator Sanders, obviously our nominee, Secretary Clinton, and I think you'll hear all the candidates speak about uh, our vision for America, what we're going to do to raise people's incomes, get people back to work, rebuild our own country, make college affordable, the important issues facing our country. And I think, you know, what people want is some confidence that we have a leader who's going to get things done. And I think you'll see a a really unified uh, convention, a very exciting convention in Philadelphia. All right, thank you so much, Congressman David Cicilline. And if you would like to see this interview again in its entirety, just head to our website, WPRI.com.